William Faulkner Never be afraid to raise your voice for honesty and truth and compassion against injustice and lying and greed. If people all over the world would do this, it would change the earth. We must be free not because we claim freedom, but because we practice it. Nothing can destroy the good writer. The only thing that can alter the good writer is death. Good ones don't have time to bother with success or getting rich. William Faulkner Let the writer take up surgery or bricklaying if he is interested in technique. There is no mechanical way to get the writing done, no shortcut. The young writer would be a fool to follow a theory. Teach yourself by your own mistakes, people learn only by error. The good artist believes that nobody is good enough to give him advice. He has supreme vanity. No matter how much he admires the old writer, he wants to beat him, there is no such thing as bad whiskey. Some whiskies just happen to be better than others. But a man shouldn't fool with booze until he's fifty, then he's a damn fool if he doesn't, unless you're ashamed of yourself now and then, you're not honest. Given the choice between the experience of pain and nothing, I would choose pain. You get born and you try this and you don't know why, only you keep on trying it and you are born at the same time with a lot of other people, all mixed up with them, like trying to, having to, move your arms and legs with strings, only the same strings are hitched to all the other arms and legs and the others all trying and they don't know why either except that the strings are all in one another's way. A man is the sum of his misfortunes. One day you'd think misfortune would get tired, but then time is your misfortune. Like a fellow running from or toward a gun ain't got time to worry whether the word for what he is doing is courage or cowardice. No one is without Christianity, if we agree on what we mean by that word. It is every individual's individual code of behavior by means of which he makes himself a better human being than his nature wants to be, if he followed his nature only. Whatever its symbol, cross or crescent or whatever, that symbol is man's reminder of his duty inside the human race the past is never dead. It's not even past. Pouring out liquor is like burning books. The books I read are the ones I knew and loved when I was a young man and to which I return as you do to old friends, clock sleigh time. Time is dead as long as it is being clicked off by little wheels, only when the clock stops does time come to life. Be scared. You can't help that. But don't be afraid, the only environment the artist needs is whatever peace, whatever solitude, and whatever pleasure he can get at not too high a cost. A writer must teach himself that the basest of all things is to be afraid, memory believes before knowing remembers. Believes longer than recollects. Longer than knowing even wonders. I don't know anything about inspiration because I don't know what inspiration is. I've heard about it, but I never saw it. You have to write badly in order to write well. The writer's only responsibility is to his art. If a writer has to rob his mother, he will not hesitate. The ode on a Grecian urn is worth any number of old ladies. No man can cause more grief than the one clinging blindly to the vices of his ancestors. A writer needs three things, experience, observation, and imagination, any two of which, at times any one of which, 
can supply the lack of the others. War and drink are the two things man is never too poor to buy. Perhaps they were right putting love into books. Perhaps it could not live anywhere else. This is a free country. Folks have a right to send me letters, and I have a right not to read them. The last sound on the worthless earth will be two human beings trying to launch a homemade spaceship and already quarreling about where they are going next as she was bored. She loved, had capacity to love, for love, to give and accept love. Only she tried twice and failed twice to find somebody not just strong enough to deserve it, earn it, match it, but even brave enough to accept it. In every writer there is a certain amount of the scavenger, there is no such thing as was only is. If was existed, there would be no grief or sorrow. Tomorrow night is nothing but one long sleepless wrestle with yesterday's omissions and regret. The poet's voice need not merely be the record of man, it can be one of the props, the pillars to help him endure and prevail.